He was always there to help everybody who needed it, everybody who needed it. family or not, and he was big on A grieving widow sharing her pain after losing her husband in a tragic accident. Uh, George Arias was a federal agent simply training with fellow officers at a gun range when something went terribly wrong. Local 10's Roy Ramos live now in Miami with our top story at 5 o'clock. Roy. And investigators are calling this an accidental shooting. Well, we've just received new information from Miami-Dade police, and we now know that a second officer was involved. I did get a chance to speak to the wife of the victim today. She tells me that her husband was an honorable man, a loving husband, and someone who was always doing for others. I have no words for the loss. Anna Marie Arias heartbroken after the devastating loss of her husband, 40 year old George Arias. When you hear people say that he was a great guy, believe it. The Customs and Border Protection officer and shooting instructor was shot at a West Miami Dade gun range Wednesday during what investigators said was a training exercise. While well, he was airlifted to Jackson's Ryder Trauma Center, tragically, he lost his life. He, he was my soulmate. Anna meeting her soulmate at Hialeah Miami Lakes High School. While the two would marry later in their lives, George would commit his not just to Anna, but to her two children. Everybody thought that he was their father. He was that kind of guy. It was in 2010, George enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard and had just signed on for another two years as a reservist in June. He joined U.S. Customs and Border Protection in 2013, always putting everyone, especially his family, first. He was always there to help everybody who needed everybody. And he was big on his family of law enforcement. As this wife now tries to make sense of her husband's unexpected death, she says she will cherish the unconditional love he was always there to give her. He would like hug me and tell me, don't worry, baby, we're going to grow all together. We're going to do this. And it's, I'm sorry. That was him. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry for your loss. And again, our condolences go out to the Arias family. His body does remain here at the medical examiner's office. In the meantime, we are still reaching out to Miami-Dade police to find out more about that second officer involved. As soon as we gather those details, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, here in Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay.